I've got the Cell Pro 10s here, as you already know uh, from my previous videos and the unboxing. What I want to do today is I want to show you just how simple it is to set this up to charge two packs at the same time. Now, the Cell Pro has the capability of charging up to two packs simultaneously here, uh, and you do that by simply connecting the high output connectors here uh, to the appropriate slots. So for my first pack I'll go ahead and connect that and my second pack I will connect to the number two output here. You always want to make sure that the high output connectors are never in contact with each other. So make sure that these are typically a good practice is to make sure that they're away from each other and you don't want it to ground on the case when you turn the unit on. The next thing you're going to do want to do is uh, power on the unit and I've got my Revelectrix uh, power supply here. Just turn that on. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to notice here is that you've got uh, you know, the LCD screen here, the output screen is showing that it's safe to connect the faster charge. Now you have two options. You can either use faster charge or a accurate charge. Okay, hopefully you can see that accurate charge. Now, I, I typically like doing uh, the accurate charge, especially uh, since I've had these packs put up for most of the winter here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that today. So let's go ahead and connect these up. Now, I've got some modifications made to my packs here. I've got 2100s, uh, 20C3S, and I've had to splice in a couple of JST type um, connectors here. So let's go ahead and connect these up. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have the proper channels connected. So I've got channel 1 here, channel 2, and channel 1 and channel 2. So you want to make sure that the, the packs are connected properly here. So the first thing I normally do is I connect up my uh, high output connector first. So let's go ahead and do that. And then channel 1. We'll put that aside here. And we'll go ahead and connect up the high output for channel 2. And the balance tab for that. Okay, we'll just lay them aside here. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to cycle through the packs to see what kind of condition they are in. And to do that, we'll hit the uh, mode and start and stop at the same time. And here we go. We're seeing that there are two packs connected. Uh, we're set at, I kind of missed it there, at 1C charge rate. And we're at accurate charge mode. And we're going to cycle through the packs here. So we got faster charge. Okay, so charging, press mode for more info. That's what it says on the screen here. So it tells us right now that there are, we've got about, um, about 0.89 amps uh, across all the packs, the two packs. Uh, it tells us that we've got about 24 seconds. So this is the timer that uh, we've got into the charge cycle. And it's supplying about 13.5 volts at about uh, three, between three and two amps right here now. So we can cycle through, the best thing about the Cell Pro 10S is that you can cycle through the, the menu here and you can take a look at what it's exactly doing at this moment. So you can see here channel one, channel two, tells us how much fuel, that's, uh, that's Cell Pro's way of telling you how much um, voltage is supplied to the, uh, or currently stored in the cell, uh, each cell individually. It cycles through, it tells you how many amps have been pumped into these packs. Keep cycling here and it'll actually tell you the voltages across all of the cells in each of the pack. So that's all good. Now you let this run long enough, it will actually measure the resistance. This is a great feature. Measure the resistance across the cells inside of each of these packs. and Everyone out there realizes that you know, uh, the higher the resistance in these packs, the 
likelihood that these, uh, these cells are starting to uh, near the end of life and therefore not storing as much and, and not releasing as much energy as required uh, in some of those high output uh, applications. So really, really neat feature here. And there we go. So I'm just going to lay this down on the table here, uh, come back a little later, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it indicates that it has actually charged. And now we have two charged packs. So let's cycle through the menu here to see what the charger has to tell us. In the case that the charging has done its cycle, we're at 100%. We can see the amount of charge that's been dropped in each one of these packs. The voltage. Look at the individual cell voltages. Still pretty good. And the resistance across all the cells in each pack. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to charge with the Cell Pro 10S. Again, 2100 packs, 20C, 3S. And how long did it take? 28 minutes. And that was that 1C charge. Okay, great. Hope you're enjoying your Cell Pro 10S. And if you're not, you don't have one, I would highly recommend that you go out and get one today. Cheers.